Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading. So how are you guys? Hope all's well. Now let's see what's happening with your energies. The energies are definitely um, pretty positive for the most part. Let's see, oh yeah, you got some love coming in. <laughs> all right, Scorpio, yeah, you're moving forward here. You're going down a new path. I see a new beginning in love. Beautiful. Ooh, I see somebody here is very strong and very confident about this as well so it's going to take some courage but i can see a lot of emotion some really strong feelings here look at this happiness oh my goodness scorpio playful youthful a lot of happiness yeah i see focus see staying focused on the positive that's what it's telling you move forward because you have new you're going down a whole new path so stay focused on the happy, on happy, happy, okay? Yeah, don't lose your focus here. And someone's focused on you too. Like I see they have happy thoughts when they think about you, and I see miracles. So this is two rainbows touching ground. There's gold here at the end of this. <laughs> really nice. Wow, okay. Scorpio, this is probably the best yet. Let's have a look at love. And I see Eight of Swords. Yeah, someone can't stop thinking about you. They're focused on you. They're thinking happy thoughts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, look at this. Six of Cups. Someone here is longing for love. Beautiful. You might have known this person at some point, maybe when you were young. It's funny because when I pulled this card out, you'll probably notice I paused a moment. I had this little download, and I kind of went, ah. And now I'm seeing it because did you ever have somebody when you were young? Now, this is probably specific to one or two people, maybe a few. A childhood crush or somebody where you went chasing rainbows. You went looking for the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And if that's true, someone's thinking about that and they're focused on that. And now it may not have nothing to you, but that's what they're looking at. That's what they want. Youthful, child, playful, innocence. So, yeah, someone can't stop thinking about you, I'll tell you. Yeah, they want to build. This is someone putting in a lot of effort, courage. They want to build with you, perfecting their craft and skills. Oh, yeah. This is somebody here who's feeling really, really confident. It's, and I do see a lot of courage here. So, and that has to do with the emotions. That's a powerful move. You used to see all this power. Waves crashing on the shore, all these emotions. So, yeah, you you got it's either a new crush or, like I say, and someone may be thinking of you um, to do with something that they've, someone they knew when they were young, when it was very sweet and very innocent. But I see moving forward. I see love coming in. Someone could be giving you a gift, something they built or made or created, crafted. Hmm. Oh, see so much happiness all right there we go and we have guardian of wands yeah there's a spark there's a lot of passion this is the guardian of wands this is a person very very confident about this and they're very focused on it too so mm -hmm. yeah nothing is this person's got their eye on you nothing is going to change this person's mind i can tell you that right now no it doesn't matter what gets in their way they know yeah, this person's mature, emotionally mature. They've dug very deep into their emotions, very deep feelings. But you can see there's a fish down here. They've gone very deep. They're looking up at this cup. So it's not a cup half empty. It's a cup, um, well, I, would, I mean, it could be half full. But I'm, I'm feeling it's just deep into the emotions. They're looking at the bottom of this cup as they're swimming up. So it's very uplifting. And I feel there's a spark, passion, attraction, their focus. This is someone who can't take their eyes off you too. So if you're already dealing with this person, this is, and I, I really do feel someone here, I don't know if you did that when you were young, someone you played with when you were young and you chased rainbows, running towards the end of a rainbow, looking for the pot of gold. So, but this is a person with a cup um, half full, not empty. Yeah, very positive, but it's an elder, someone who's mature. They're emotionally mature. Yeah, look at that timing. Wheel of Fortune. This person, I'm telling you, it's just a, the Wheel of Fortune, the fortune at the end of the rainbow. There's some kind of miracle. This, And it could be just 
um, this person hoping and praying for one, but they want this to go in their favor, and I see the timing is right. I mean, maybe this is someone you had a crush on at some point, and the timing wasn't right, but they haven't stopped thinking about you. They're still focused, and when they think about you, it's happy thoughts, a lot of reminiscing here. But others of you, like I say, it's just a crush, someone longing for love. Yeah, ace of material. So ace of pentacles, you got a person coming in, uh, solid, reliable, stable. Look at that. This is, is this is someone who could give you a gift. Now, if you ever gave somebody a gift, they could be thinking about that. And they haven't stopped thinking about you. They may still have this gift. So, because this is an energy of chasing rainbows, but it's a miracle, some kind of miracle, this person here. And they want this to go in their face. It's like the timing is right for this person. Um, it's like now, windfall of abundance. I feel this is just absolutely beautiful. Yeah, this is an energy of someone at a crossroads time in their life. It's about taking something to the next level. It's making this choice. So, mm-hmm. And we have, yeah, this is someone checking things out. They've checked you out. Um, but it's a person taking a little pause, looking at things from a different perspective, putting the shoe on the other foot, how the other person feels. That comes out all the time lately. It's just, it's just a thing that comes up in my readings. And I feel it's a really good message. If you are, if you're emotionally mature, you're capable of putting the shoe on the other foot, how the other person feels before you make any kind of move. So it's really about thinking about what it is your interests are, your intentions and how you feel and how that person feels. But to be honest, I feel we got two people who are going to be feeling pretty much the same here. Yeah, we are in Mercury retrograde now, re retrograde now, so there's a lot of reminiscing. And it could be just someone thinking about something they had once when they were young, when it was sweet and innocent. And it's kind of, it's what they want now, you see. Mm -hmm. And you can see that <laughs> with the Wheel of Fortune. It's an energy of now. Yeah, morals, values, lifestyle, the way someone conducted themselves. It's a person who feels confident. They have faith. Um, in themselves they have faith in the direction they're going down this path but it's a it's definitely an energy of morals value i don't know if you went to school i've been seeing a lot of this i know there's a lot of high school reunions now i don't know if they usually happen in the summer it could be family reunions or traveling going to your hometown you know a lot of stuff like that going on uh, in the summertime that's why i feel a lot of these energies are out there but you may have gone to school with this person i mean i'm seeing the hierophant i see education learning but i do see someone planting the seed an opportunity there's some sort of you know new beginning an opportunity and it's a, this miracle so it has to do with the timing being right so yeah i can tell you you can expect miracles look at justice balance doing things right uh, it's an energy of faith commitment planting the seed somebody here's thinking commitment if you've been seeing someone it could be like i say there's energy of love coming in someone's thinking about love and they can't stop thinking about about you or you about them i mean it, it to me it looks like a mutual energy with the miracles tell me about that eight of swords explore of pentacles someone exploring um, now this is often people who are young they go their separate ways after school they get a job they take some kind of contract somebody gets married see it's 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 like it it's like it's a miracle with the timing because I feel there's been marriage here. Um, there's been travel, education, relocation. So this is an energy of someone exploring. And now that when it's it, the pentacles exploring, that's somebody going off to make their way in the world to find financial success uh, to do with work. So, yeah, pretty interesting. I think somebody thinks it's a, it, it, it's, they're just like absolutely blown away by the fact that the timing is right. It, obviously, you're both single. Um, but I mean, it, 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 there, I see other things here too with uh, focus on the path that you're on, the direction that you're going. 
don't lose focus stay in a very positive uh, energy and don't lose focus of that positive energy the happiness because you have there's this passion uh, this inspiration someone's feeling inspired so that's why I feel you've got this opportunity regardless but I'm, I'm seeing longing for love missing creative youthful energy and this movement uh, it's the biggest part of this reading and this person exploring see this is somebody who kind of goes down their path someone has went down their own path for work So that's what I feel. And it's like your crops are passing at the right time. See, it's your paths crossing at just the right time. Uh, maybe even the right place. But this is so interesting. Yeah, I see a house, a home, a strong financial foundation here too. So this could be somebody, you know, coming back to your hometown. Um, but it's a, it, it's an energy of a celebration, some kind of celebration here. And someone here is definitely taking a pause and a little introspection. Yeah, this is it could be someone checking you out in your neighborhood. It's just someone who's lonely, longing for love. But I, I see a, a, some sort of history and story here. Tell me more about the Explorer of Pentacles. Yeah, two of cups. See, this is two people coming together, talking, exploring this connection. But the Pentacles is something kind of moving slow, but someone's focused on work. So it's an energy of someone, someone going down this path. I feel as two people who started something, it was a crush. Maybe it didn't go anywhere because of work. But I feel like it's two people going to come back together here. I'm seeing a soulmate connection here. I see something very sweet, innocent, a lot of emotional fulfillment, someone thinking really, really happy thoughts. There's an event, a gathering, a wedding, a celebration, a family reunion, something going on. And there's going to be a celebration. It's at a home, four of wands, someone's home. Someone feels like home too. So some of you are, you're actually going home. So there's a lot of happy thoughts and reminiscing. And if this is someone who knows that you're traveling or going home or vice versa, those are why those happy thoughts are there. So really, yeah, see, travel. There's six of swords, some kind of travel. And you can see there's a light at the end of this. <laughs> this is an energy of clarity. It's travel, movement forward. Someone here has learned something. or I feel two people went their separate ways. Somebody went off to school. Um, it could be a lot of time in between, or it's just like I say, going to visit, travel, and all this time in between. Someone's focus. They have, this all this time in between. This person has not lost focus. They're st they still reminisce and still think about any time spent with you. Okay, some of you, it's just somebody new, longing for love. But I feel some of you know who this is. It's probably a childhood friend or an old crush, something that didn't go anywhere. It looks like it didn't go anywhere originally, but it was like soulmates, friends, you know, and possibly even a very deep friendship. But to me, it's youthful, it's young, it's a crush. But I also see someone giving someone a gift, something that they've made, something they crafted. It's an energy of showing somebody, you know, how they feel, and that's often what those kind of gifts are is to show someone how they feel and that's likely what's going to happen here if you don't know who this is so very nice six of swords yeah look at that so there's that three of cups see travel movement home gathering people family friends uh, taking something to the some of you are just taking something to the next level but i see that you know the hangman checking things out a little moment of in inspiration it's about go a little bit of um a little bit of a pause looking at it all seeing things from a whole different perspective but it's like there's just so much happiness i mean this is someone who's i feel just kind of still focused on it and it's also someone who's still attractive too if it's something from a long time ago i mean it could be a month ago i mean it could be last year <laughs> Ten of Cups, you know, but it's a, like I say, it's a it's a gathering, often a large event. It's where maybe this is how you met and someone has never stopped thinking about you. A wedding, a family reunion, a gathering, high school reunion. Definitely, I can see that, too. So, wow. And we have the Ace of Wands. There's that Ace of Wands. See, passion, the spark. Some is this someone checking someone out, finding them attractive? There's still that focus, still that they're still focused. 
They haven't lost that focus. Doesn't matter what gets in the way because you can see the snow coming down. This person's determined, strong and confident not to lose that focus. So crazy. See, focusing on this. I love it. I mean, this is a person, you know, when I see that wand or even the Ace of Swords, it's someone who often holds a torch. And I've been seeing this in a lot of readings. How many people are holding a torch? I did hear, see somebody comment on my channel earlier that they've been holding a tor torch for somebody for a long time and they've been waiting and waiting for this person to come in. So the person that holds the torch is sometimes the one who you know, keeps focusing and focusing. It's possible that it, for some of you, you may decide to change your focus and focus on something else if you connect with another person at some sort of gathering or event. And I do see that for a few people. And it's funny that that comment came to my mind because when I, I know this person on my channel, very lovely, and I, I see all those comments, you know, waiting and waiting and waiting. And there's all these positive readings and a lot of times things just don't happen for people. But um, it, it's an energy of someone who hasn't lost their focus no matter what gets in the way. And I do see friends of friends and family and some kind of an event, some really good news here for someone. Yeah, very, very nice energy though. It's the spark, it's the torch, it's the passion is being ignited. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah. Someone's trying to temper those passions. See, patience. Patience. Sometimes patience pays off, but other times too. I have to be honest. Some of you, you know, some of these readings may not be for you. So this is where I have to look at the energy like sometimes you need to change your focus and focus on something else because there are often other opportunities around you. So like in your social circle, it's getting out and socializing too being with people but I, I just feel this is just absolutely lovely uh, energy and a lot of people are definitely in that more happy vibe vibration but I'm seeing two dolphins playing swimming upstream the highs the lows it's just really focusing it's an energy of uplifting staying in that positive and that's what I feel one of the messages is here for some of you whether this resonates or not okay because it's what you put out there is what comes back to you Guardian of Pentacles. So this is an energy of someone um, guarding their finances, possibly. But it's often someone who keeps things close to their chest. Now, the leaves are falling. This is an energy of someone letting go of something they've been holding on to. Okay? So this is also an energy of protection. But I, I feel it. the leaves are falling. It's an energy of someone letting go of something that um, is keeping them stuck. Okay, but it's also someone who's guarding the heart. And you can see with the leaves, though, I feel it's an energy of releasing something. Someone's going to release something here. But it, uh, like I say, it's a person who's focused. See, even that card points that way. They just come out that way. But you can see there's this bear, solid, grounded, being sensible and practical. Now, what's interesting here that popped into my head, being patient. This could happen sometimes in the fall after the summer is over i do see some seasons here which is funny i see winter snow falling and then i see leaves falling from the trees too so you know timing is always different for everyone but i do see someone releasing something and letting go of it something that's keeping them stuck so it's kind of like the four of pentacles energy um but it's an energy of guarding the guardian and I see somebody with this pentacle coming in. So it's an energy of being stuck, being focused, and then this opportunity. So some of you, it is very possible here, if you've been focused on one thing too much, a particular person, you might actually change your focus. You Oh, you've got an emperor coming in. You have an emperor. Um, and you could be the emperor here too. This is learning all the lessons of the kings. Uh, this is someone ready to manifest something new. And I do see someone tempering their passions, emotions, very calm. This is a person here who's just being patient. So someone's patiently waiting for something at the right time. So it's all about the timing. So this is what it, now because the Wheel of Fortune, that's what Spirit's trying to tell me. Somebody, you may hear from this person uh, when it snows. Other of you may hear from this person after when the leaves start to fall from the trees. 
when the leaves change color and start to fall. And then we have the poppy, which is, you can see this emperor standing tall. You see this bright red, this passion, this drive, this ambition. Oh, yeah. I, I feel like, you know, it's a lot of different things going to happen here. Seven of Cups, fantasizing, romanticizing, someone who sees opportunity. So someone's looking at opportunities to travel, to visit, to schedule something too. So if you have a person at a distance or someone who lives maybe just in another community, could be anywhere, but there's something to do that they're looking at, all the possibilities. They're looking at everything and they're planning something here. And it has to do with an opportunity with this Ace of Pentacles to build that foundation to get something going. So something to do with the seasons and the timing. Now it could be something that started in the winter <laughs> and now it's going to be maybe a, almost another year later. So I'm just looking at all the, because I know when people, they come in, they go, when is this going to happen? And when is it going to happen? It is always different. It's really hard in collective readings to tell somebody when something's going to happen. And the reason being is the person who you want to know when they're coming towards you or when it's, you know, going to get started, they have a mind of their own, you know. And this is why I, I'm reluctant to... Uh, and I have given people time frames before that were dead on, but I've also given time frames that didn't didn't happen. Something happened, but not what they expected. So this is why I'm reluctant to do that. And I'm going to just look at the cards, the pictures, the images, because when I'm shuffling, I'm always thinking the images because they um, they mean a lot to me. And that's why when I see the directions of cards and I see this person focusing and they haven't lost focus on happy times, happiness, something to do with a crush or childhood memories, um, or just like I say, giving someone a gift. Someone's holding on to something. If you gave someone a gift, you may, if you made them something and gave it to them, something you crafted or built, and it could be vice versa, see, where they're holding on to that and fantasizing and reminiscing. And sometimes that's what gets people thinking about things. So, But this is someone tempering their thoughts or passions, being patient. They're looking at things different. See, is this somebody here who, you know, is kind of thinking, you know, how it could play out. You may not feel the same. You might be different. Maybe you've changed if it's something from a long time ago. But it's an energy of trying something different. Yeah, so very, I feel there's a unique situation here too. But five of wands, it's an energy of someone taking action. See, they look at all the possibilities. There could be competition. You could have other options. See, they're looking at how it could all play out what could happen here but this is an emperor this is someone who's rather strategic of course because they have the king of swords energy so but they aren't afraid of the competition as long as it's a single person they're coming in elder of wands they're very much in control of their passions too they're mature so but this is somebody that spark passion drive ambitions they're looking at fireworks I tell you, this person means business. They're coming in. They're coming in to fight for this. But they are preparing um, for maybe confrontation, um, competition and jealousy. Um, there being other options, maybe even yourself having options, unless you are the Scorpio with the Emperor. <laughs> yes, the masculine energy. But interesting enough, I, I, I see some sad energy here too, which generally tells me someone just kind of calming down, just calming down, uh, thinking, taking the lessons they've learned from the past, the things that they know, and they're going to use that energy because the Six of Swords is here. So they're just kind of, you know, looking at things different, trying different things. But yeah. I mean, if this is if this is somebody you met traveling or at some point when you were visiting or traveling or at a wedding or anywhere, this person is really holding a torch and you're different, you're unique, you're different than the usual type. There's something about you that this person cannot stop thinking about you. So many, many scenarios with this energy. But look at that. It's about investing, waiting patiently to invest. This person is going to show you they're invested. They're going to give you a gift. Something I feel it's something they're going to buy or pay for, uh, for a lot of you. But some of you, they're actually making it, crafting it, because they have some skills, something that they can do that they're good at. 
but they're going to show you they're invested. So I do feel patience will pay off with this person. In the meantime, focus on work and other things and just be brave here. If this is someone you really know, I feel some of you will have no idea who this is. But they are focused. I mean, it could be you. You can flip the energy. But we have a masculine energy of an emperor here. And this person means business. They're, I feel that they're older. They're mature. Doesn't mean old, but they're mature. Yes, they are successful. Now, they are free. They're available. They're planning and preparing for success. They're very passionate about this. It's something they really want. So it's like they're... Um, they've, it could be them who were holding on to something in the past, focused on. But this is someone moving forward regardless. But I feel it's an energy of someone going to communicate. They want to know if you're free, if you're available. Uh, they're planning something. Yeah, they're weighing the pros and the cons. They've been kind of procrastinating. Should I or shouldn't I? little inner struggle there. But this is a person who's, you know, uh, weighing the pros and the cons. I also see somebody who, who works. They're juggling work and play, work in their love life. So there's something about schedules, routines, and some kind of need for change. There's someone exploring their feelings. I love this cup, this card so much. Look at that. See, exploring their feelings. Somebody's exploring their feelings. They're looking at how they feel. They want to know how you feel as well. Wow. This is so nice. You know what I feel is happening here? It just hit me. It's funny how things come to me sometimes after. And I have to trust my intuition. This person who's been focusing, you know what I feel their, their concern is? That you're no longer focused on them, if you know them. If this was a crush that didn't go anywhere. Okay? Because there's a lot of reminiscing here. And it's about m moving forward. So it has to do with... This focus here and now moving forward. Someone's going forward with something here. And like I say, they're exploring their feelings. They're looking at the, that cup. Yeah, see the tower, the epiphany. This is someone having that tower moment. I'm going to tell you, it's going to be something sudden, some sort of shock what this person tells you. I think you're going to be shocked and surprised that someone, and you might know who it is. You might be already dating this person. You may have already connected. They could be a friend or a friend of a friend. It could be something simple where they just tell you that they've been holding a torch. They've been in love with you for a very long time. Um, you might be shocked if they tell you they've been focusing on you, checking you out, or just they have never stopped focusing on you. So, Because there's something very positive here, this happiness, shock, and a surprise that someone is holding a torch for all this time. Yeah, look at that. So I said that. Yes, victory. <laughs> you see? Uh-huh. This is crazy, but yeah. I mean, the readings are getting really, the energies that are out there now. I mean, a lot of it's a time of year people are out socializing, so they're connecting with people and reconnecting and traveling and going places. There's a lot more positive, but the trick is to try and carry that on through, you know, when there's no summer and no nobody's traveling and moving as much, it's, it's learning, I feel, getting out to socialize if you want to have victory and success. So if there is something you are focusing on the past, you know, and that's where you focus on, it makes you happy, that's your choice. But if it's keeping you stuck and single, maybe it's time to see the truth and have this epiphany. It's time to change your focus onto something else, something new. And it could be this emperor. But look at that. There's love. There's a bond of connection. I'm going to tell you. Someone's going to tell you there's truth. Someone's in love with you. I'm telling you. Oh, yes. Happiness and joy. And some of you, too, you may meet somebody new. At a wedding, a gathering, traveling, high school reunion, a family reunion, a festival, some kind of gathering. Okay? So it does look like there's a lot of positive. Look at that. There's something to do with a house, a home. So this is to do with a home, a house. Now often, it, I mean, it's marriage and commitment and all those things, but I actually need a lot of other cards when it's just the house. And it is somebody who's thinking about that possibly, but it's it has to do with a celebration, something to do with feeling like home. Now if some of you are going back to your hometown, going to connect, yeah, you may actually connect with someone here. Absolutely. But there's something to do with this house. Yeah, something in the distant, the distant horizon. Mm-hmm. But you can see there's this chain that's broken free. Someone is free. 
some sort of miracle. Yeah, there's some unexpected income coming in for someone too. Some of you are going to pay off your home. Uh, you could get some money or it's this person. Um, but it's also an energy of someone just being very generous, someone from a distance. I don't know. There's all kinds of stuff going. I mean, this could be, it could be inheritance. I did see the Hierophant there. Um, some of you may pay off your home or this person did, and they may be thinking of moving relocated. So, because I see the distant horizon, but this is also forward movements, moving forward. These chains are broken. So to me, it feels paying off a mortgage, paying off debt, um, or getting some unexpected money and buying a house and home and relocating. All kinds of crazy stuff. Now we have the Queen of Pentacles here, Scorpio. Grounded, sensible, marriage material, practical, something to do with a home. So this is beautiful. Something from a distance coming in. Okay. So very nice. Some of you might, I could be somebody moving into your neighborhood, buying a home. Um, someone that you knew. So, or your building. I mean, it, it doesn't have to be because I do see the tower. Um and you can just run into someone suddenly too and it's like i see a lot of hugs and things that four of pentacles is there which is often great big bear hugs and things like that but so much happening i just see so much busy times for people this next month here or so next month and a bit actually um, but i love the the unexpected income something unexpected it's practical it's sensible something here is going to make you happy some kind of miracle so I wish you the very best, okay? Like I say, it, it could have to do directly with you or becoming uh, or have to do with this person that's around you. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. But it's saying to look at it very carefully. It's an energy of planning and preparing ahead. So it's telling you to plan and prepare, okay? You might have to put some money out at unexpected, unexpectedly. It could be telling you to hang on to your money for a trip or travel. So take care. See you soon.